Hi guys, welcome to another video. This time we are going to clone medium block platform with the help of ReactJS and Kelvin CSS for the front end as well as Firebase for the back end. Our main focus and front end part will be the advanced features inside ReactJS such as context API, React hooks, reusable components and much more. In the back end part we will work on Firebase. You will learn everything you need to know about Firebase, such as authentication using Google and email, Firebase Firestore database, and Firebase storage that will help us upload our images. You will learn how to make collections and sub-collections inside Firebase Firestore, as well as how to update and delete them. Finally, I will show you how to write security rules for your Firebase application to protect your database. At the end of this video, you will have this block platform that looks similar to Medium. Now let's see how our application looks like. So this is our demo page. As you can see, we have this header. So inside the headers, we have a logo and some naps. As you can see, if I click the sign in here, I will have a pop-up. I can sign into my application using these buttons. As you can see, I can sign in using Google, Facebook, and email. Down here, as you can see, we have a button, create one. Using this button, I'm able to toggle between sign in and sign up buttons. Down here, we are going to have a banner. And if I scroll down, as you can see, I will display all the trending posts in here. So the post that will have more interactivity by the users will be displayed here. And if I scroll down, you can see I have displayed all my posts here. Okay. Now if I click one of these posts, I will be directed to a new page that will display a single post data here. And as you can see, I will display the title of the post the user we will calculate the amount of times this post will take the user to read and the post time and down here we have some buttons that will let the user interact with this post okay and if i scroll down you can see i will have some posts that are recommended by the medium so we are going to have some tags based on that we are going to recommend posts for the user I will show you how these buttons work when we unlock them. Okay, inside the demo page, if I scroll down, you can see we have a button. It will generate more posts for us. In the left side, we have some tags. If I click one of them, it will filter our post based on tags in a new page. Okay, now let's sign in. So I click the sign in nav here. Now let's first make a new account. I'm gonna click this sign up button. Now let me fill this inputs. Okay, if I click this button, we need to wait for a while. And there you go, the user is created and we are being redirected to the home page. As you can see on the left side, we have all the posts and on the right side, we have all the users. I can follow them and if I click one of them, I will be redirected to their profile. Using this button, I can save the post. You can see the message here. And if I open the post, we have the same page, but this time we can like the post, leave a comment. I can edit the comment or delete it. Using this button, I can copy the link. You can see this is the URL of the single post. I can share it in multiple social media applications as well. Now let's open our profile page. You can see I don't have any posts yet, but under this list nav, all the saved posts will be displayed. As you can see, I have only one saved post. And under about, 
the bio of the user will be displayed. Now you can edit your profile using this button or this one. From here you can change the avatar. I'm gonna choose this one. You can change the username and the bio. Now if I save it, you can see my profile has been updated. So all the user's data will be saved in a separate collection inside Firebase Firestore. Now let's create a new post. You can have a title here and also a description. For the description we will use a text editor. You can change the text appearance by selecting the text. Now if I click this publish button, as you can see we can preview the title and description in this page also. You can update them if you want. Using this box you can add a new banner image. And in here you can add some text. So based on this text your article will be recommended or filtered. Alright, now let's publish it. You can see my post appears here. I can click it and down here you can see I have only one recommended post which is generated based on my tag. I can like, leave a comment, save the post and using this button I can edit the post. You can add your text here. Okay. Now you can see the post has been updated. And also you can delete this post. And finally we are going to implement the search functionality. So if I look for a post in here, let's say I'm going to write this text. As you can see the post that matches with this text will be recommended for me. So if I click this post, as you can see I'm able to open the single post in a new page. Okay guys, that's what we are going to build in this series. I hope this project will be helpful for you. So before we start, make sure to like the video, leave a comment and give a subscribe to my channel.